Good morning, guys. I love coffee. I love it. I love it black. I love it in latte. I love it in a cappuccino. I love it with cream, with honey, um, coconut milk. I love coffee. And I love a good coffee creamer. Who doesn't, right? Um, I drink it black usually, but every once in a while I just want a little something sweet, just a little bit of creaminess to my coffee, and I want a good creamer. But you can't really find any good creamers at the store. One that doesn't have a bunch of crap in it. A bunch of hydrogenated oils and sugar and just crap, stuff that you don't need to put in your body. So I found a really good recipe for delicious coffee creamer and it doesn't have any crap in it. Come on, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my coffee creamer. So these are my ingredients here. We have coconut milk, coconut oil, an egg. Yes, an egg. You're actually just gonna use the yolk. Vanilla extract, and I put stevia. You can use honey, you can put no sweetener in it, whatever floats your boat. All right, let's put it all together. I do love black coffee, but I'm really excited about my creamer. Let's make it. All right, so everything's gonna go in a blender. You can double this. Um, I usually just make about one batch a week. If you go through more than that, if you're putting a ton of creamer in your coffee or if you're having several cups of coffee a day, then I would suggest doubling or maybe even tripling the recipe if you have several people who are drinking the coffee in your house. So first things first is our coconut milk. Now we want a full fat coconut milk, no light coconut milk. You can even use coconut cream and it makes it a little bit thicker, a little bit creamier. Um, I have a can of coconut milk though, and that's what I'm going to go with today. All right, so there's our coconut milk, nice and fatty. I'm going to just put all of it into our blender. There we go. All right, next we have our egg. We're only going to put the egg yolk in there, okay? Separate the egg white from the yolk. Go ahead and do that. Lots of different ways to do this. I usually just do it with a shell and it goes. So next we have vanilla. This is going to be obviously kind of a vanilla flavored coffee creamer. If you want a different extract in there, feel free. You can put almond extract, coconut extract, make it extra coconutty. Um, you can put cinnamon, you can put nutmeg, anything that sounds good to you. I'm going to put one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, I have stevia here. You don't have to use stevia. If you don't like stevia, um, if it bothers you, don't use it. You can use anything you want as to sweeten it with. You can use regular sugar, regular cane sugar. You can use honey. You can use maple syrup. You don't have to put any sweetener in there if you don't want to. You can try it without it. It's delicious either way. This is about half a teaspoon of stevia. You just put all that in there. All right, last but not least, we have our coconut oil. Now, I have unrefined coconut oil here because I love that coconutty flavor. If you don't really like the coconutty flavor, um, you can get refined coconut oil. You want it to be a little bit liquidy now. See, it's kind of liquidy, which is good. It's good for me right now. If it's solid for you guys, then you can just put it, pop it in the microwave for a little bit and, until it melts. You don't want it to be hot though because you don't want it to scramble your egg. That would be a no-no. So, you're gonna put Two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. All right, that's everything. Time to blend. All right, and blend it up. So, our concoction is all blended up, and I'm just going to put it in a mason jar to store it in the refrigerator. Now, it's really liquidy right now, but a lot of the ingredients in here are fat, right? got our coconut, our full fat coconut milk, we've got our coconut oil, of course, and we've got our egg yolk. Mm. So, whenever you put this in the refrigerator, it's going to solidify like a fat, right? So, you're just going to spoon it out. Now, right now, like I said, it's kind of liquidy, which is fine. It's going to melt anyway when it goes into your hot coffee. So, I'm just going to put a couple of spoonfuls into my coffee, like so. I'll give it three. There we go. All right, check this 
this out. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? Look how creamy it is. And it's delicious. Oh, so good. I love coffee. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope that you can use this coffee recipe, and I hope you like it as much as I do.